the spot, black spots on Jupiter. I don't know what they are, but this is something that just showed up. It just showed up and people are wondering what the spots are on Jupiter. It's black right there, it's kind of reddish. Um, how can you have such a black spot on Jupiter if it's just all gas, right? So it's not solid, according to what people are saying, it's a gaseous giant planet. So who made those black spots? Oh, is it a black hole? Can the black hole occur on a gaseous planet? I don't know, but it's been observed. Um, this red dots and black spots on Jupiter. Um, it gets bigger sometimes and it gets smaller. But the question is, does, is this a, a hole that maybe leads to the Milky Way galaxy? Is that a way to do interplanetary travel? I don't know. What, what do you guys think? So, talking about the Milky Way galaxy, you guys know it's all spiral, right? It's very spiral. It's kind of like this, right? So, within the galaxy, you have the stars. See all the stars right there? Altair, uh, the Baron, Vega, Wolf, right? Yeah, play this. So, all these stars make up part of the what's in the Milky Way galaxy, right? You can see our sun is right there. It's kind of like small compared to all of those stars. But in any case, those are stars. So, question is, could you travel through those black holes and, uh, and make your way to another star? I don't know. What do you guys think? Just go ahead and leave a comment right there. But talking about these specific stars and how they're all aligned and how we can take a look at them and how they can kind of relate it to what we do in our you know little neck of the woods basically um, you see where we're located in that little spiral right there that's where we are right compared to where this rest of the stars are in the galaxy right so one that's particularly interesting, as you can see right there, that Wolf 395. That's a very uh, unique star. You can see it look, almost looks like a red dwarf with two additional stars to the right of it, right? So, um, yeah. Even some people have said that doing this interplanetary travel within galaxies will require some kind of a technology like a wormhole, where you, basically where you have to bend reality to make it happen so I don't know what do you guys think about this whole that spot of Jupiter and could it be a way to actually travel through the galaxy um, we're starting to with our Milky Way galaxy now you gotta realize the distances between planets are so they're not as big as the distances if you go uh, d d cosmic in a in a stellar travel right so planetary distances uh, kind of all you can look at them in that, in that respect, for example, this is this is our, our little neck of the woods. You see our sun right there. You see Earth. You see Mars, Jupiter. Now, just imagine you're trying to like hop a ride right from Jupiter to say our closest star, which is that Proxima Centauri that you see right there on the right. Our sun is on the left. Uh, what if there's a way you could actually do that by just hopping a ride using that red black spot on Jupiter, right? And bend, bend matter to such a way that they can kind of propel you and before you know it, you're, you're in a different star, not just a planetary system, you're on a different star, okay? That's what I was trying to get at to get you guys to kind of think about that for a second, right? Um, as you are aware, right, you see that odd cloud right there? That's It's kind of like way past the bow shock area right that odd cloud it's pretty big right so we have that odd cloud right between us and proxima centura right so proxima centura that's the, the centuri is the closest star uh, to us right um, actually it's alpha centura but let's just say proxima centura is really close as you can see right there right so what would it take then right to be able to jump take a huge leap for, uh, as part of our galactic group like you can see where Milky Way stands we're taking it a little bit further now so it's a big galactic group you see Milky Way galaxy right there right you see Sagittarius dwarf right there you see Draco dwarf right okay Orsa minor dwarf Orsa major right you see all that right there that these are kind of like things that make up this whole 
was called the galactic group so this is all part of the galactic group right so when you start looking at how big and, and complex this stuff can get first it gets you to humble yourself that's number one and secondly it gets you to think deeper who is actually designing this stuff these guys must be like gods right right so basically you got a god that designed this stuff and makes it where it's intelligent right so comment below what you guys think about this whole thing you know going from a, a black hole in jupiter jumping through the galaxy and, and be part of the galactic group going hopping the right to milky way what do you guys think comment below don't forget to like share and subscribe and i'll see you guys later hang out space